So 30 Rich, you also, you breed birds as well? Yeah, they got, they got a, a sport that been going on for years and years and years that our people don't even know about or the younger generation don't know about. It's people that actually race pigeons and make millions of dollars off racing pigeons. It's people that host pigeon races and get millions of dollars just off hosting a race. So what they do is they charge people probably three to four, five to 600 to enter their race from all over the world. You know what I'm saying? They compete. Um, they charge them to bring their birds and train their birds. Your birds train for about three to four months and then they race them. The, during the training, they um they take the birds out, they let them fly home, take them out a little further, let them fly home, take them out a little further, and then they do the final race and let them out. You know, people come from China, uh, Belgium. I done met people from Germany. I just went to a race, you know what I'm saying, and uh, met all type of people, and they welcomed me with open arms to their sport because they know it's. They told us it's a dying sport. They been in tune to my YouTube channel and seeing what we do and how we promote and how we sh show the world what's going on. They was happy for us to come, you know what I'm saying, and give people insight on what's going on because they said, like I said, they said it's a dying sport. But the racing pigeon is just, is similar to breeding dogs. It's just birds. The racing pigeons breed faster than dogs. See, with a dog, you're only going to have babies twice a year. Dog only come in heat every six months, you know what I'm saying? And then once your dog comes in heat, you got to worry about whelping the puppies. You got to worry about progesterone. You got to worry about C-section. You got to worry about ultrasound. You got to spend a lot of stuff, uh, money on your dog to actually have a successful litter. And when you're dealing with exotic dogs and super crazy, like the dogs that's going for uh, 200, 300, 50, $40,000, they have problems, genetic issues because they're mixed with a lot when you're dealing with exotic bullies. So... The birds are less hassle and less rassle. That's what I got, got in the birds. And to also um, learn a new stream of income. So I got into the birds. They come with pedigrees like dogs. The pedigrees on the birds is different than the dog because on the dog, you kind of can um, cap on the pedigree if you if you know what you're doing. But on a bird, you can't cap on it. It's only one, one winner. And when they come in, they leg gets scanned. So while they're training, they, they got a chip on their leg. When they let them out and they come home, they is the, the the scanner scans their legs as they come into the coop. You know what I'm saying? So you can't you can't cheat with it. So it's say it's 50 birds you send into one race and it's 9,000 birds. You come in the top 50th place. Each race is different. Say they got 7,000 birds. The top 200 going to get paid other than just the top five or one bird. If that bird come in five seconds before the other birds, he get all the money. So you got people that's winning uh, $250,000 or, or $70,000, $80,000 just by coming in eighth place. First place, don't get all the money. You can be in the top 10 and still get $40,000, $60,000. So it's like you got a higher chance of winning large amounts of money if you know what you're doing. So we got into the birds because, uh, like I said, they lay eggs every 10 days. You don't need nothing but some bird food. And you pay in the dog, you gotta clean up after us. Bird shit don't really smell. You know, bird pee don't really smell. You can clean it once a week. You know what I'm saying? The dogs you gotta clean up every day. They get in the fights, they overheating. You know, the birds, like I said, less house and less rouse. They come with genetics, and those genetics are, are really proven winners. When you study genetics on the birds, you see who's proven to win, the grandchildren, the uh, children after that, the cousin, the brother. All of them are, are winners. If you look at the pedigrees, you want to invest in those birds. So we got franchise slots for people to learn that also. You know what I'm saying? People that want to franchise and raise pigeons and make a residual income from home and not have to worry about going nowhere. You can raise pigeons. We buy, we, the franchise come with two birds. Uh, we show you how to inbreed, line breed them. You know what I'm saying? You come with an LLC EIN number, just like the, do, uh, the, the, the dog franchise. But we show you what genetics to go get because a lot of people can get in, get in this and not know what to do. They can get a bird and lose, you know what I'm saying? Get a bird and lose it. That's why it's important to get the right genetics because every bird is not going to make it back home. And it might have been a not, uh, not a good racing pigeon. We go buy birds from uh, Mike Guinness with uh, Wolverine. We go buy some of the best kittle, you know what I'm saying? They got a genetic called best kittle and kittle. That, that, that bloodline 
has had multiple winners, you know what I'm saying? Hundreds of winners. It's proven to win, so a lot of people buy it. After they race the birds, they bid on the birds. When they bid on the bird, it could get into millions of dollars. It's, it's birds that's been sold for one point something million dollars. It's birds sold 500, 300. They bid on the, on the winners. Once they fly in, you get paid off that. And once you, if you want to buy your bird back, you pay half the amount you bid it on. Say you bidding with somebody and they get up to 200,000. You only got to pay 100 if you want your bird back. Or you can right. take the 200,000 on top of what you already won. So it's like you getting paid two, three times. You send a couple of birds and a couple of your birds come in the top places, you get paid two, three times. So we got, uh, like I said, West One Performance. I'm a co-CEO of it. My partner actually got me on the heat from California. Uh, I franchised with him and then I paid him 150 to own 50% of the company. Um, I learned more about it. And now we, uh, like I said, we franchising and them birds, they go for three, five, six, seven thousand dollars Imagine if you land eggs every 10 days and you got multiple birds and they selling, you know what I'm saying? So that's millions of dollars that our people don't know about because we was taught bullshit. And for everybody that's listening, you can't just go outside and, and catch a bird and think this is what nah, he's talking it's, about. it's racing pigeon that comes from genetic. You can try to go outside and catch a bird and try to send it to a race, but you're going to fuck around and lose your bird or it don't come back. These birds or homing pigeons, their instinct is to go home. So when the birds you send, you send them at two months or three months. They train them for four months. You can't send an adult bird because the younger bird is going to whoop his ass. It's already old. These birds are hyper. You know what I'm saying? They got a lot of energy. They stronger. So uh, you send the birds two, three months. They train them for four months and then they race them. Uh, I forgot the question you just asked me. Basically, you can't just go outside and grab a picture. Nah, you can't go outside. This. You can try, but it's not going to work. You know what I'm saying? Or it might work for you. You can go try to just get a bird. So so how many pigeons race at one time? It's different stipulations in each race. Some 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 race, they got club races and they got one loft races where one loft races, people race from all over. Club races just locally. You know what I'm saying? And, and you can get in club races and win forty, fifty thousand dollars $50,000 and only cost you 200 or 300 to enter the race. You know what I'm saying? Uh, so different stipulations for different races. You got some races that's 3,000 birds. You got some races that's 5,000 birds. The more birds that enter the race, the higher the pot. Yep. You know what I'm saying? So you want to get good genetics and send it to the to the million dollar races. They got South African races. They got Indiana Hoosier races. They got they got races everywhere. You know what I'm saying? They got races in China. It's a yeah, it's they, a do they do they do races in the U.S. Yeah. I just went to Indiana. Um, there's more races than I even know, but they got a website for it. It's called Wing Companion. You go on Wing Companion, it's, it's hundreds of races on there that you can pick and learn the stipulations of the race and figure out which, which race you want to send your bird to, to, you know what I'm saying, to compete. But like I said, these are homing pigeons. If your bird don't have good genetics in the, in the homing instinct, it's just going to fly all over. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Home, they, they, they're, you know how they say you let a, you let your dog out, it's going to find its way back home because it leave its scent? Same right. thing with the birds. How much are the prizes for the winner? Different. Each race is different. So say they got a million dollar race and the top 200 get paid. Maybe the first place win 100 something. The second place win 70 something. Then they go down to 40s and 20s. You get paid for training also. You can be in the top 200 places and still get a thousand dollars and get your money back. You know what I'm saying? That you paid to enter the race. Right. So each race is different, but they split the prize money up. It's a million dollar race and the, and the money is split in between the top 200 birds. And people in this industry are making hundreds of thousands. I went to a guy named uh, Ken Easley House. He's been winning first and second place every year. He said that that one of those he said racing pigeons has paid for his son to go to college. He got Porsche. He got two Porsches in his garage and he don't even got number 60 birds, but he got the best genetics. He go fly overseas and go buy some of the best genetics and race it here and win hundreds of thousand dollars. So it's, it's multiple people that's getting paid. That race I just went to, it was about 10 people that got paid and all of them got paid 30, 40, 50, 60 thousand dollars. And some of them got paid a hundred. You know what I'm saying? And these things are recorded. They record on the pedigrees. These people that race birds, they talk about it. Just like within the dogs. You'll know when a dog got sold for a bunch of money or you'll know when a dog is hot. 
because they're going to talk about the people that's in the industry. So it's like a dog breeding community for the dogs and it's a dog, it's a bird uh, racing community for the birds. You know what I'm saying? People just got to look into it and get into it to learn it. It's a million, it's a million ways to make money, man. Man, um, dog breeding, racing pigeons, not only just that, bro, they got people that's making millions of dollars off breeding snakes, bro. And I didn't know this until two, three years ago. I ain't want to touch no snake growing up. I didn't know you can make no money off no snake. But I went to a reptile show and I was seeing they were selling snakes for 40000 2500 It was one table I went to. They sold 10 snakes for 2500 in one day. In a, in, a, in a reptile show, they have it for four days. So if you go get the right snakes and breed the right snakes, you put your own price on it. But it's a market for each genetic. But you can make your own snake, put your own price on it, take it to the show and sell it. Because there's people that's in the reptiles. And the thing that I learned about reptiles and dog shows, the difference is that a dog show, you're going to see blacks and Mexicans. You're not going to see many white people. But when you go to the when you go to the reptile show, it's number really white people in there. So I wanted to, you know what I'm saying? I wanted to attack all, you know what I'm saying, races that I can. That's why right. I got into the racing pigeons. It's nothing but people from overseas. So I'm learning and meeting different peoples and learning different ways that I can you know what I'm saying? Accumulate revenue off of dog, uh, animals. 